Hey everyone, it's me Ilian from DM Trading Bulgaria and it is time for another weekly trading plan. Now I wasn't able to share with you a trading plan yesterday but uh, today I'll make up to, for that. Uh, today we're going to look at the Great British Pound, Canadian Dollar, Currency Pair and what I expect uh, from it. I will make a full technical analysis on a few different time frames and uh, we'll try uh, throughout the week, possibly even next week, to uh, trade profitably on this plan. Live signals will be shared as usual on our Telegram channel, so if you haven't, join us now there through the link below this video. Let's get started. Uh, this is the graph, uh, the four hour graph of the GBP CAD currency pair. Uh, for just a second, I'll switch to the daily graph to explain some of the levels I already have and we'll move on with the plan. Now you can see that in the past few days uh, the pair was uh, in a strong strong downtrend only uh, red candles. Uh, this downtrend started all the way from here and uh, you can see that I've marked a few levels that uh, had some impact on the price in the past. Uh, first is this level at 1.72 uh, 53 you can see here we had a reaction also here we had uh, sort of a short reaction again here we had a reaction so this level obviously uh, tends to affect the price uh, from time to time now the second level is here uh, at 17102 uh, the price is currently around that level you can see we had a few reactions there as well even here and uh, the last is the uh, level at 1.6855 uh, which is basically uh, the last bottom we had a few reactions from here you can see how the downtrend ended there and a new uptrend for a few days started again here although again after that the uptrend was a bit more stronger and this uh, end of this downtrend was here and a huge uptrend uh, just before this downtrend started. Now going to the H4 uh, we can see uh, that before this uh, strong downtrend started we had a small consolidation here, a range. Uh, let me just mark it. <clears throat> you can see how the price moved for a couple of days before finally breaking that area and making this uh, nice swing down. I've marked this uh, downtrend inside of this trend channel. Uh, you might think that it's a bit wider, but uh, if you look closely, one of the reactions was all the way here. So I decided to um, put the lines in a way to uh, catch all the um, movements we had in the past so it's inside the downtrend as the, after this reaction you can see that actually the price uh, continued further down now currently we are standing exactly at that uh, trend line and at that uh, daily level at around 171 uh, at this point for me there are a few possible scenarios either this uh, downtrend channel will be broken and uh, the price will uh, eventually continue moving up uh, let's say to most likely at least to this daily uh, level here uh, which we discussed at 172.53 or even it will continue further up going all the way to that uh, consolidation or this range from where this downtrend wave started now this is one of the possible scenarios of course, we might see a bounce again from this uh, trend line and from this daily level and uh, the price might actually uh, continue with the downtrend all the way back to this uh, previous bottom here. So, uh, in this case, uh, we have a few opportunities. We, uh, if this uh, level is broken at 171, uh, I'll start looking for buy opportunities at, at least until 172.53 or even to uh, somewhere here which is at around 173.85 or uh, if we see a bounce here on the M30 time frame um, we'll confirm it there 
uh, I'll start looking for sell opportunities until uh, 168.55 at least. Uh, now, of course, after that, uh, if we see a continuation uh, of the uptrend, current uptrend that is forming all the way to here, uh, we might see a new downtrend wave from over there. So from the seven, 171 level, uh, so actually 172.55. Uh, so it will be uh, interesting to watch and it can actually this buy zone can turn into a sell zone after that But there is uh, enough time until then. Uh, let's see on the M30 What we have uh, As you can see for the past few hours uh, We were in a huge uh, uptrend if we turn on here the Bollinger Bands it's showing that we had this uh, squeeze this uh, consolidation here uh, let me just change the color so it's better for you to see it and you can see uh, the uptrend wave started now at this point I wait for a slowdown of this uptrend maybe uh, this area here uh, will bring that reaction and uh, if actually the price bounces from here I will start uh, looking for sell opportunities and I'll keep in mind this uh, consolidation from where this uptrend wave started on the M30 as my first target uh, then most likely the price will continue further down this is it regarding this plan uh, I will share it on trading view you can check uh, the development there uh, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the little bell button so you get notified when we uh, share videos with you. You can expect more from us today and the following days and I wish you a profitable week.